in the morning. Till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. I am blessed. Yes, I am blessed. I am blessed. We all are blessed. Everybody's blessed. Even the uh, sinners are blessed. They wake up in the morning and they're still living. And they have a house to live in and clothes on their back and shoes on their feet. They're blessed. But the greatest blessing of all is that we have Jesus Christ living and abiding in our hearts and knowing that we have the gift of eternal life and heaven waiting on the other side. That's when we are really blessed, when we know that. Have a few prayer requests that uh, didn't get called out last week, but again, we welcome you to the Good News broadcast. It's good to be back this week. Uh, have a lot of people who are sick. I ask you to especially remember Cindy. She had her surgery Wednesday, went by this evening to see her, and uh, naturally she's in pain. Uh, there's a little complication with pneumonia. Uh, it's not uh, at a bad stage, but just remember her in prayer because she definitely don't want her to get down with pneumonia on top of what she's already faced. Uh, but other than that, she's, she's doing well. Uh, Vicki Todd needs prayer, and they had requested a song, He's the Rock I'm Leaning On, a song for the Thorne family, a song in prayer for Ruby Leonard, uh, Willie Hamby and family wants prayer, prayer for Jimmy and Beverly Cotton, and they wanted a song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Those are some that we didn't get read off last week. Also, continue to pray for uh, Guy and Peggy Webb. We want to send a song out to them. Uh, Brother Jimmy Cantrell needs prayer. Also, a song and a prayer for Mary Watts. We want to send a song out to Bobby and Johnny Reese. Prayer and a song for Evelyn Chapman and Faye Hill, a song for Della Lynn, and a prayer for Noah's family. His, his grandmother passed away. So, you know, when little children lose their grandparents, it, it hurts them quite a bit. So remember Noah's family. And we're going to let them bring you another song at this time. That morning we shall see Jesus in the air Coming after you and me Joy is ours to share What rejoicing there will be When the saints will rise It is for that you believe Yonder in the sky Oh, what a singing Oh, what a shouting On that happy morning When we all shout
Savior in the sky. When we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. I want to send that song out to Bill and Barbara and Valerie Riley. Also, there's a sister-in-law who needs prayer uh, to come through surgery. Uh, she came through surgery real well. Uh, a friend is having surgery Thursday for a blood clot, so we want to remember them in prayer. Uh, Mildred Taze, this is my wife's sister. Uh, my niece called me this week and Mildred has liver cancer. Uh, it's in the lymph nodes and in her liver and going into her pancreas. So I think she's refused to take treatments. But anyway, remember her in prayer, if you would. Uh, thanks for the birthday cards and also the wishes and gifts. And let me say God bless you for what your thoughts and for what you've done. Uh, Geneva wanted Miranda to sing a song, but Miranda's not here tonight, so we'll have to pass that by this time, and we'll just have to tell her we can't have her missing. <laughs> Amen. A uh, song from Mildred Sellers and a prayer for her eyes, and Mildred's requested a song, Beulah Land. Uh, there's a special thanks and greetings to Paul and Judith Hibbs. Uh, Mom Betty and Brenda Taylor needs prayer. Mom Betty needs prayer for her left eye. It's a bad situation. Health is not good. Uh, Brenda also has eye problems as well and health issues. And there are families issues uh, that has went overboard. So remember, remember these, these people in prayer, if you would. We're going to let them bring you another song this time. You be blessed. Yeah, I'd like to say it's uh, good to be back on the Good News program again this evening. And I hope we will be an encouragement to someone out in the audience tonight. So y'all just keep on listening. All the world is bright and cheery, and I'm singing every day. In a place of bird and dreary, I sing a joyful lay. We put a ray of gladness where sadness once had been. When Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he put a little sunshine in. When Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he put a little sunshine in. He put a little joy and gladness where sadness once had been. He gave a little love and glory and took away the doubt and sin. When Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he put a little sunshine in. All the clouds have silver linings, not a shadow is in sight, not a thought of sad defining, the way is always bright. I was lost in sin and darkness, but the way is bright again. Since Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he put a little sunshine in. When Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he put a little sunshine in. He put a little joy and gladness where sadness once had been. He put a little love and glory and took away the doubt and sin. When Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he put a little sunshine in. blessed glory road and I know that my Redeemer will share my every load for I was lost in sin and darkness but the way is bright again since Jesus took my heart all to pieces he put a little sunshine in when Jesus took my heart all to pieces he put a little sunshine in he put a little joy and gladness where sadness once had been he gave a little love and glory and took away the doubt and sin. When Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he 
put a little sunshine in. When Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he put a little sunshine in. He put a little joy and gladness where sadness once had been. He gave a little love and glory and took away the doubt and sin. When Jesus took my heart all to pieces, he put a little sunshine in. Prayer and a song for Audrey and Roy Hyatt, and they always want God on the mountain. Uh, Karen from Concord has requested prayer for Sister Susan and Michael uh, for salvation, a song for Karen. A uh, song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus for Beverly Cotton uh, is having a birthday. Happy birthday, Beverly. Uh, Carolyn Richards uh, needs prayer for her husband and Dave Richards. He's in the hospital and having problems with his kidneys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let them bless you in another song this time. You be much in prayer for them. sing this for all the people that ask for it. I got two requests. Maybe I'll get them both.
Pray for uh, Doris Eisenhower and Maxine Pearson. Well, I'll send that song out to them. Prayer and a song for Bonnie and Michael Treadway, and they've requested Beulah Land. And I think also Mildred wanted that song, Beulah Land. Uh, Albert Stone and family, uh, a song and prayer for Jean and Rosie Cantrell. Prayer for Jackie Patterson and a song. Lightfoot, remember Paul Bright, a minister friend of mine, uh, has uh, some, a lot of health issues and really needs a, a touch from the Lord. Uh, pray for Clarence and Josie Davis. We want to send a song out to them. So at this time, we're going to let them go ahead and bless you with another song. You'll be much in prayer for them.
Whether we are walking through the valleys of trials and temptations, or whether we climb in the mountain of victory, or whether we're going through the valley of the shadow of death, there's one thing for certain that God is holding our hand. And that's a great consolation for a lot of people to know that someone is holding our hand and we're not walking these paths alone. Uh, prayer for Ernest and Mary Earp, uh, special prayer for Eddie Henderson and Darlene, and also a friend, Judy. Prayer and a psalm for Ginger Bridges. Uh, prayer for Babe Arrowwood. Uh, prayer for Evelyn Termeyer. Uh, prayer for Tracy. She has a pinched nerve. Prayer for Crystal Leatherman. And also in memory of Jake, they want a song. Uh, so the next song, we'll let that be in memory of Jake for Evelyn Termeyer. Uh, pray for Victoria. She's in college and pray for her dad, Michael. Uh, I know a little about this situation and uh, sometimes uh, you go to a new school and go into a different place, there's a different environment. And sometimes it may not be the Christian environment that we were raised in. So it is a struggle, and it, uh, it takes the prayers of the saints to, to make them strong to be able to stand. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let them bless you in another song at this time. This is for all the requests, and I've got several. Well, I'm going to try to do you will land, also send it out to the... My church, Bethlehem Church of God, invite you to come in the morning. You'll be made welcome.
I'd like to remember Ruth in prayer, also prayer for Diane Curry, prayer for Louis Deal, prayer for Elizabeth Reed who has health problems and also we send that out to Elizabeth for her birthday. Uh, prayer for Savannah Kane is in the hospital, Donald and Marie Tilly, Bobby and Terry Tilly, and Micah Miller uh, needs prayer. I'd like to remember Betty Johnson from over in Statesville, you know, some time back she had a stroke and her heart was bad, but she's doing much better, but still needs our prayers. Also, Mary Sharp and her family from over in Oldland want to remember them in prayer. Also, Grady and Cheryl Sharp, uh, longtime friends. Uh, DeWitt Shoemaker in Harmony want to remember him. I uh, want to dedicate a song to Kathleen and Edward Patterson and Betty Jo McDaniels from over in Statesville. Uh, also, I want to encourage you to use the Good News uh, email. It's goodnewsprogram14 at gmail.com. You can call in, uh, t I mean, you can email your prayer request 24 hours and seven days a week, and we can get back with you uh, and send you a prayer in regards to your need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give out the names of those who have given on the broadcast. Really do appreciate everyone who has sacrificed and given, but we have really been down this week. And I don't, I don't say much. Uh, I'm not a beggar. Uh, it's, it's all in God's hands. It's all in God's plan. And if it's meant for us to stay here, we will stay here. But we've only had nine donations this week. So we're, we're down some, and that gets a little bit uncomfortable. But I understand that there's a lot of things can happen, a lot of situations. But I know there's a lot of people who watch the broadcast, have been watching it for a long time, but has never really obeyed the Lord. I know the Lord probably has spoken to you to send a a donation or an offering to, to help the broadcast. To, I'm just asking you to, to mind the Lord and to be obedient unto the Lord because if you obey God, He will bless you. But we want to thank William and Barbara from Rohiss, William and Elizabeth from Charlotte, we have Geneva from Hickory, we've got Richard from over in Granite Falls, we have Harvey from Stanfield, North Carolina, uh, Judith and Paul from down in Shelby, we have Mom, Betty, and Brenda from Charlotte. We have Jeannie from down in Monroe, a very faithful giver, and has given in honor of 911. Uh, Bill from Hid Night. So we, we appreciate these who have, have uh, given on this broadcast. But also, we want to thank CJ Auto Sales from up in Hudson, North Carolina. That's James Teague Jr. Ask you also to remember his dad, James Sr., in prayer. Uh, you can reach James at 828-728-9828. Uh, TBLG, law firm out of Charlotte, uh, we thank them for what they've given to help on the broadcast. Kevin and Hilda Hubbard from the Trading Post Produce in Taylorsville. They're located across from Alexander Funeral Home on Highway 16 North at 184. Uh, there in Taylorsville. You can call them at 828-632-4533. Also, we thank uh, 4M Farms of Maiden. Uh, through September through December, they will have deer corn available, so go by and get some corn and feed up the deers, and you'll have some fat venison for this winter. Uh, you can call them at 828-464-8577 or go by at 2842 Phase Drive there in Maiden and pick up your corn and your needs there, and I know that they will be blessed to have you. We're going to let them bring you another song, and we're going to go into the message. Some glad 
morning when this life is o'er I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shores I'll fly away I'll fly away from glory I'll fly away when I die hallelujah by and by One day we will sail away home. Thank you, men, for your services and for the songs and the music. And I know it's a blessing to a lot of the people who are shut-ins and those who watch the broadcast. We are now having our programs on YouTube. When we can get them uploaded, it takes a while to do that. Uh, we have some uploaded. You can go to YouTube and go to the search bar and go on Good News uh, 14 and uh, TV 14 and you should be able to pull up the programs on there. Uh, also, we have the church services on YouTube at our church. You just go on the search bar on YouTube and pull up Wilkesboro Church of God and you'll see the programs there and our church services there on YouTube. Uh, it's something that we've been wanting to do for a long, long time because it's a way of reaching out to people and give people an opportunity to watch the programs uh, through the week or whenever you have some spare time. We just pray that they will continue to be a blessing. But I do encourage you to use our, our email, uh, the Good News Program 14 uh, at gmail.com. Send in your prayer requests. We ha we do get some already on the email address, but I want to encourage you to use it. Uh, I'm not going to go to prayer just right now. Uh, I'm going to have prayer before I finish at the end of the message. But we're living in a time that Jesus talked about, that we would live in a time that there'll be perilous times, troublesome times. There'd be earthquakes in diverse places. There'd be different things happening, famines and pestilence and one thing to another. And it seemed like that there are more people sick than they are well. I think on one of the previous broadcasts, uh, their, their prayer request, most of them cons was concerning people who had cancer. 
If there was ever a plague, cancer has become a plague to this nation. I don't know if it's our diet, if we're not eating right. I don't know if it's a curse. I don't know if it's from the enemy. All I know is that it's a horrible thing and there's a lot of people that has it. And when you've been told that you have been diagnosed with cancer, it does do something to you. I know because I, I experienced that. I never thought I would ever have a doctor to tell me that I was diagnosed with cancer. But uh, twice I've been diagnosed with cancer. I had melanoma cancer and then I had the prostate cancer, but now I'm supposedly cancer free and that's all because of the blessings of the Lord. So I know that God is still on the throne. I know that God is still working. People are going through hard times and troublesome times. We've had the hurricanes and the floods and the winds and the riots and just so much has been going on. This world seems to be a world of trouble anymore and it's hard to find peace. But I find consolation in the Psalmist David when he wrote Psalms 138 and 7. David said, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me and thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. David had his trust and hope in the right direction and in the right thing. It's hard to stand here, and the name of this program is the Good News Program, and we want to bring you good news. We want to tell you good things that happened, and there has been some good things happened. There's people that's been healed. People's been saved. There's, there's just uh, some good things that happen too. But there's so much to be said in such a little time to say it. But not only is it important that we seek the Lord for our healing and for our financial problems, but we also have to remember that there are souls out there that are lost. There's people that say they're a Christian, and in their heart they're not really a Christian. They've, they've never really been saved. They've never really truly been born again because my theory is that if you've really been born by the Spirit of God, your life will change. Now, I can verify that. I can, I'm a witness to that because when the Lord saved me, He changed my life. And the things that I once did and used to do, I don't do them anymore. I don't have a desire to do those things anymore. And that's how I know that I'm saved. I know that I've had an experience. And I stand here with mixed emotions because I know there's people who need to be saved. Death is just around the corner. Who would have thought it'll soon be a year that Sister Hazel went on to be with the Lord, standing right here, singing, no wheelchairs in heaven. Never had to have a wheelchair, but she went backwards and suffered a brain hemorrhage, and, and in a month's time, she went home to be with the Lord. See, we don't know where we're going to be at and when it's going to happen, but one thing for certain, we're going to leave this old world. But the important thing is, are we ready? That's my, in my number one priority. Are you ready to meet the Lord? But secondly, yes, we as Christians and non-Christians, we suffer in these bodies. And we do have pains and sickness and disease. But there's hope for everything. There, there's, there's hope for the sinner. This hope is in Jesus Christ for those that are sick. Those that may be facing death, there's still hope. And David knew where that hope was. And David knew what it was to walk in the midst of trouble. David said also in Psalms 121 and 1, he said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. We have our favorite ministers, we have our favorite singers, we have our favorite people, we have our idols, we have people we look up to, but we don't look to the right one. Jesus should be number one because he is the only one that can solve my problems and your problems. He's the only one that can heal these bodies if we have the faith to believe in him. And I, I do believe that he heals. Sometimes, People leave this world not healed, but hey, on the other side, they're going to have a new body anyway. 
But 3 John chapter 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. John had a compassion. I have a compassion. I have a concern. I have a desire for you. Those of you who are Face, had faced the sad news, well, you have cancer. Some have been given a deadline. Some have been put on a time frame. You only have so long to live. That's sad, but it's true. But I have to say the same thing John said. I wish that you would prosper. I wish that you would be in good health even as your soul prosper. In Matthew 9 and 35, it says that Jesus went about all cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. God ain't dead. Jesus ain't dead. The Holy Spirit's not dead. They're all alive and doing well. So there's something, something is not working. Something's not right. Because the God in whom I serve is a living God. He's not a stone God. He's not a wooden idol. But he's a living and true God. And he has the power to touch us and to heal us. And sometimes maybe we need to take time to inventory our lives and search our hearts and see if there's something in us that we're not lining up with the Word of God. Maybe there's something that we've never asked for forgiveness for. Maybe you're holding an all against someone and you've never went and made that all right. Maybe you have a hidden sin and you've not fully confess that sin before the Lord. There could be numbers of things why it's not working, but we can't blame God. We can't blame Jesus because he's willing to touch us and he's willing to heal us. But sometimes we have to search our soul and we have to search our heart and think about where is my heart? The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. If our mind is on this world and the things of this world and the entertainment of this world, and then part of the time it's on God, it doesn't work. We've, we've got to dedicate our whole self unto him. It's time to give up the things of this world. It's time to turn away from the worldliness that's in this world and turn unto God because God is the author and the finisher of our faith. We can't be double-minded. We've got to make our mind up. Are we going to serve him or serve the devil or serve the world? And a lot of times these things brings us into these situations and causes things to come upon us that should not have happened but because of our disobedience, because of the disobedience of the children of Israel, they suffered, and they suffered hard, and they still are suffering. And we ought to count ourselves blessed that God allowed us, the Gentiles, to receive of the blessing that was only to be given unto his chosen people, the Jews, the Israelites. But do we count our blessings? Are we blessed? Yes, we are blessed. They sung the song, I am blessed. We have basically everything that we need. But do we have Jesus in his fullness? Luke chapter 6 verse 19 says, And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him that healed them all. See, you have to do some seeking. You have to do some searching. You have to do some reaching out. Yes, the Lord's there. He's right here beside of us. But we have to reach out. If someone offers you something, aren't you going to reach out to receive it? Or you just wait and let them come up and stick it in your pocket? That's, that's not the way. When someone gives you a gift, you reach out and you receive it. And receive it with thanksgiving and receive it with joy and happiness 
and the things that God has to offer us, we have to reach out and take it. You have to reach out to receive your healing. You have to reach out to receive salvation. You have to reach out unto the Lord. Because Hebrews tells us in the 13th chapter in verse 8 that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. This world has changed. People have changed. Churches have changed. People have changed. But God is the same. Jesus Christ is the same and will always be the same. 1 Peter 2 and 24 says, Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Even in the book of Isaiah, it's already prophesied that he would suffer and bear those stripes upon his back, 49 of them, for the healing of our sickness and of our diseases. One was uh, for heresy. 40 stripes, I'm sorry. David said in Psalms 103 and 3, David said, Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Just knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt that the God in whom we serve is able to deliver us and to heal us. Do you believe that? Or do you just say those words? Do you just repeat those words? No, we must believe it from our heart. We must have that planted in our soul and in our spirit and stand on that firm foundation and not be wavering in our faith that no matter what storm comes or what circumstances arises, God is able. He is able. In Isaiah 53 and 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Of all these requests, of all these people who are calling in, is standing in need tonight, they have a problem. Trouble has hit their life. They're calling, searching, and asking what do I do? What can I do? Do I have any hope? Yes, there is hope. There's hope in Jesus Christ. I've given you scriptures. I've given you the word of God. Not my word, but his word. His word is powerful. It was so powerful that Jesus faced a man and the man felt like that he wasn't even worthy to come under his roof. But he said, if you'll just speak the word, I know my daughter will be made whole. That was faith. We have to believe that. Jeremiah 17, 14 said, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Who are you praising? Who's number one in your mind, in your heart, in your life? Is it the Lord? Or is it the gods of this world, the things of this world? What is it? What is the priority in your heart and in your mind? Jeremiah said in Jeremiah 30 and 17, For I will restore health unto them, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. What a promise. What a promise. For I will restore thy health. If the musicians haven't put up their instruments, I want them to come and bring us a song. And while they come and prepare and come to bring a song, we have about four minutes. I want you to remember what Jeremiah said. What God said unto him, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Let God speak to you. <laughs> May the Holy Spirit of God speak to you right now. While these men are singing this song, I don't know what song they're going to sing. 
But it's an invitation for you, an invitation for you to call upon the Spirit of God, the power of God, and let God come into your heart. And before they sing, I want to just say a prayer for you, and they're going to sing. They can play softly. Someday when I travel. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we ask you, Almighty God, to touch these precious needs, Lord. God, touch these that have cancer. Touch these that have broken homes. Touch these that are lost and undone. Touch these, Lord, that are in the hospital. Touch these, Lord, who stand in need of prayer tonight, Lord. Almighty God, we ask you that the Holy Spirit will convict that heart if they're a sinner. And God, that they will come to know you as their Savior. That they can be like David. That they can lift up their eyes unto the hills, knowing that their help cometh from you, Lord. Oh, Almighty God, touch them tonight, Lord. Holy Spirit, move across this video camera. Lord God, let your Spirit move into these homes and hospitals, Lord, and restore health unto these people. Oh, Spirit of God, Holy Ghost of Heaven, I magnify you, I glorify you, I give you praise and glory and honor for your mighty power, your mighty touch tonight, Lord. God, touch and heal and save and deliver, Father. And whatever the accomplished, Lord, we'll give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Praise God. Bless them as they sing. Bless them as they sing. Yeah. 